cool healthy lunch ideas video. So I have five healthy lunch ideas, one for each day of the week. So I'm going to show you guys how to make each of them. They're all super simple and like very easy to make because who has time in the morning to spend more than like five minutes making themselves lunch? Not me. So they're all super quick and super easy and healthy. And disclaimer, whenever I make healthy food videos, people are like, that's not healthy. And they're referring to like anything in the video that's not like a raw vegetable. Not every single thing in here is just like a plain raw vegetable. Obviously that's very, very healthy, but I do have other things in here. This stuff is all healthier than Oreos and Doritos and cup of noodles for lunch. I made this video to show you guys some healthy alternatives to that stuff. So I hope you guys like it and thumbs up if you do and let's go ahead and get started. This must be love. Monday's lunch, we are making a classic PB&J, but this is a little bit of a healthier version. So I'm using wheat bread, organic peanut butter, and also a homemade low sugar jelly. So I'm just spreading that on to my bread. And of course, I'm just putting the pieces of bread together and then sticking that into my lunch container. Then for my fruit of the day, I'm going with a green apple because I feel like it goes really well with the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then for my veggies, I just have some celery and some carrots and I'm doing a little side of ranch. So that is my healthy Monday lunch. Now for Tuesday, I'm making a salad and this salad is so yummy. So I just mix some spinach and some lettuce and put that into my little compartment. Then I'm adding some chopped up strawberries. And then for the dressing, I'm using this fat-free raspberry vinaigrette dressing. And I don't recommend putting this directly on your salad. I recommend putting it in a little side container and then pouring it on at lunch. But I didn't have an extra one. Then I'm scooping some Greek yogurt into a little container and adding some raspberries to the top. Then I'm just sticking that into my little lunch box. And the last thing I'm adding is this Fit Popcorn. And this stuff is really, really yummy. So I like to pair it with my salad and my Greek yogurt and that is my lunch for Tuesday. For Wednesday, we are making a turkey wrap and this is super yummy. So I'm just taking a wheat low carb tortilla and for the spread, I'm using some of this low fat garden vegetable cream cheese and just adding a little bit of that to my tortilla. Then you can really add whatever you want. So I have some spinach, some olives, some cheese, and some carrots. And you might be wondering, where is the turkey? I actually forgot to buy it at the store. So we are just going to pretend that there is turkey on this wrap, okay? So then I'm just wrapping it up, cutting it in half and sticking it in my lunch box. And then for my side, I'm taking some wheat thins, some carrots and some hummus and adding some grapes. And that is my Wednesday lunch. For Thursday, we're making a black bean salad and this is delicious. So I'm just taking one can of black beans and then I'm just pouring in some corn. And then I'm also adding half of a red pepper and half of a yellow pepper and then mixing it together. And I also added some cilantro and some lime juice and I kind of just made up my own little recipe and this actually turned out to be delicious. So then I am taking these baked scoops and some salsa and that is my lunch for Thursday. You can also add some like fruit and veggies if you want to. For Friday, we're making a veggie pita. So I just have some hummus and these whole wheat pitas and I'm just taking a little bit of hummus and spreading this inside the pita. And then again, you can really just add whatever you want to this. I'm just adding some lettuce and I also cut up some cute little baby tomatoes and then I sprinkled some mozzarella cheese on top. Then I'm going to add some watermelon, which is one of my favorite fruits. So I added that and then I'm also doing hard boiled eggs. So you just fill up your pan with water, put the eggs in, bring it to a boil, and then cover them and let them cook for 10 minutes. So I just chop those up, add some salt and pepper, and I am good to go. So that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up if you liked it. That is it. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all, and bye!